Hello friends, welcome to HTML video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we discussed introduction to HTML, what does HTML stands for, features and limitations of HTML. In this video, I would like to discuss how to create a web page or HTML page using Notepad. We understand how to create a web page using Notepad. So let's get started. I go to start, search for Notepad. I open the Notepad. You can see that the Notepad got open. In the notepad, we write basic structure of HTML document. Basic structure of HTML document starts with opening HTML tag, ends with closing HTML tag. I told you HTML is a markup language. It contains set of tags. So we have tags. So these are called tags guys. We write opening HTML tag. How do we write opening HTML tag? We write less than, then we write the tag name, then we write greater than. That indicates opening HTML tag. It indicates the beginning of the HTML document. Then we write closing HTML tag. How do we write closing HTML tag? We write same as opening HTML tag. Before the tag name, we put forward slash guys. That indicates closing HTML tag. Closing HTML tag indicates end of the HTML document. Here the HTML document starts. Here the HTML document ends. An HTML document is divided into two sections, head section and body section. To indicate the head section, we write opening head tag and closing head tag. This indicates head section guys. To indicate the body section, we write opening body tag and closing body tag. This indicates body section guys. Okay, opening head tag indicates beginning of the head section, closing head tag indicates ending or end of the head section. Opening body tag indicates beginning of the body section, closing body tag indicates end of the body section. This is the basic structure. We save this file. File, save as, we save the file at the desktop or anywhere you can save guys. I am saving it with the name default and file extension should be .htm or .html. Both sides you put double quotations and save guys. You should see a default page created which is our web page. Right click, open with. You can open this page in any browser. Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Microsoft, Edge, Opera, anything. So I am just opening it in a Google Chrome guys. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Here you modify the code in the browser you see the output guys and I told you that tags are not displayed in the browser they are only the information to the browser instructions to the browser right let's say I want to change the web page title okay I want to change the web page title I have to give an instruction in the head section I will write opening title tag and closing title tag here inside whatever I write I am writing here home page it is going to be set as the title of the page I save this first you save go to browser and reload so that the code re-executes so once it executes you can see that the page title changed to home page right so tags are instructions to the browser in the body section if I say hello world save go to browser and reload it will get display in the browser guys so that is how you can create a HTML page or a web page using notepad guys you can use any of the text editor which allows you to save the file with the file extension of .htm or .html. You can use Notepad++, you can use Uptana Studio, you can use Visual Studio, you can use NetBeans, Eclipse, any editor you can use guys. HTML language is same. Okay, it is same for all the editors. It will not change. The edit language is same. Okay, the only the way of creating the file and executing the code will be different in different editor. Understanding? But Notepad is available in all the operating systems so you need not to install it and all you can easily use this uh, notepad and uh, write the code and understand html guys so that's it guys for this video tutorial i hope you guys have clearly understood how to create a web page or html page using notepad i suggest you people to try it one or two times okay execute the code and see in the upcoming video tutorials we discuss more about html for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel Keep learning, keep designing, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.